Vera, it's her station. Uh, uh, Vera? I hate to say this, but I'm a little short this morning. Well, what can you do about it, Henry? You were born that way. <laughs> what you have? Uh, just give me a roll with my coffee. Oh. A roll? Oh, thanks, Alice. Can I bring anything for the dinner tonight? Oh, no, thanks, honey. I'm making my two specials, beef stroganoff and chocolate souffle. Oh, <laughs> yum. Chocolate souffle. I can almost taste it. Fluffy chocolate piping hot from the oven with big mounds of whipped cream floating in the middle. Mm. You're killing me. Don't talk like that while I'm eating a day-old hockey puck. <laughs> oh, it's really nice of you to invite Cliff and me for dinner tonight. Oh, I'm looking forward to meeting him, Vera. I also invited Greg. We're going to have a nice evening. Oh. All right, knock out the chit-chat mood, Alice. Yes, sir. Who's Cliff? My new boyfriend. Oh. What's he like? Me. <laughs> no, I mean, what kind of a guy is he? What does he do? He sells life insurance. Hey, bring him around. Everybody eats here on a habit. <laughs> <laughs> Stow it, Chuck. Cliff also has a fascinating hobby. He fixes up old cars. Fixes old cars? How interesting. Mel, you and him got something in common. You're both grease monkeys. <laughs> uh, Vera, Vera, could you put in my order, please? Sorry, Charlie. Biddy's on a raft on a slice of swill. Hold it, hold it, hold it! Vera, how many times have I told you I don't want restaurant talk in this restaurant? But that's how Charlie ordered it. You see, biddies are eggs, and a slice of swill is ham. I know what it means, Dingy. And Charlie, if you want ham and eggs, say ham and eggs. What I really want is that new blonde waitress you hired. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> you want to see Vera, you'll have to go to my apartment. She was still sleeping when I left this morning. You know the woman is an hour late and you haven't said a word. Yeah, if we're one minute late, you spend five minutes bawling us out. Well, that's because she's tired. She was playing poker until two o'clock in the morning with us guys. What? <laughs> you would never let me get away with an excuse like that. I would if you were winning and I was trying to get my money back. <laughs> Can I ask you just a question? No, you can't ask me any questions. I'm tired of hearing about it. I need all the concentration I can get. I've got to practice my rose petals in my gardens. Rose petals and garland. That's right. Rose petals and garland. Roses is my first lesson in pastry school. Pastry school. <laughs> you guys hard of hearing? Pastry school. <laughs> Here. Take a look at this. Look at that rose. Oh. Oh, Mel, that's nice. What are those little white spots? Oh, they're little sugar dewdrops. <laughs> Thank goodness. I was afraid they might be mealy bugs. <laughs> I didn't know you were going to pastry school. Yeah. Belle talked me into that. She said that I ought to have a specialty. You already got one. Indigestion. <laughs> Stop it, Charlie. All the great chefs in the world have gone through pastry school. Sort of leaves you out, doesn't it? <laughs> Stop it, too. Gee, you should jump when Belle makes a suggestion, don't you? Well, she's a bright woman. She must be. She's in Alice's sleeping while we're here working. <laughs> hey, Vera, uh, would you hand me a donut? That! I keep forgetting that Belle put the coffee where the donuts used to be. You know, Mel, I've been working here for years. The coffee's always been over there. Now Belle arrives and moves the coffee down there. 
Well, Bell made a very good point. She said that the coffee should be close to the water. Your coffee was already close to water. <laughs> she also talked you into keeping those swinging doors closed. Well, Bell made another very good point. See, when the doors are open, you can see the dirty dishes in the kitchen. It turns people off. So do the clean ones. <laughs> I simply think that the door should be left open. I mean, we're bound to have a collision here. Yeah. I keep forgetting if the right door is in and the left one is out, or if the left door is in and the right one is out. Well, I'll show you how to do it, dinghy. Follow me. There. Just like driving an automobile. You always stay on the right side. Not in London. Well, you're not in London. But I wish you were. <laughs> oh, if only Bill were here. Well, you're going to dock her for being late or what? No, I'm not going to dock her. I mean, she came here, she was broke. She got a little behind. Yeah, it's a cute one, too. <laughs> and I think you got your eye on it. <laughs> Never mind what I got my eye on, Charlie. Good morning, everybody. Good afternoon, you mean. Now, Alice, don't get your dander up. Honey, I'm not late because I'm lazy. I'm late because I was getting something for the diner. Like what? Mel, I was passing by this store, and I saw these tablecloths in the window. And my little boy said to me, Isabel, my little boy calls me Isabel. He said, Isabel, these tablecloths are just what Mel's diner needs. So I said, well, why should I listen to you and spend my poker wins on tablecloths? And my little voice said, "Cause sugar, I'm the one who told you your full house would beat Mel straight. <laughs> now, honey, this is going to give the place class. Look at this. How much did these silly things cost? Nothing. It's my treat. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> oh, this is a very smart girl. She's so smart she could be a guy. <laughs> the way she's built, I don't think she'll pass a physical. <laughs> now, Mel, take a gander at this. Sugar, this is going to light the place like a firefly caboose. Oh, I like it. I like it. In fact, I love it. Now, why don't you girls ever come up with good ideas like this? We've been telling you for years that tablecloths would be nice in a diner. Yeah. Yeah, but your little voice never told you to buy these things for me. No. My little voice says, Stow it. Out another game of poker, and maybe I can win some matching napkins for the diner. <laughs> Vera, clean up these tables. I want to put the tablecloths on all these tables in time for the lunch rush. I'm going to get ready for work. Now there is a great woman. <laughs> what we ought to do? Have her bronzed? <laughs> no. We should have a little party, the belt. A little party? Yeah. Um, welcoming back party to celebrate her starting to work here. You never gave us a party when we started to work here. That's because you never worked here and then came back. Now that we've worked here, we know why, don't we? <laughs> but where's this party gonna be? It's gonna be here in the diner. I'm gonna bake a nice big cake for her, and on top of the cake, it's gonna say, Welcome back, Belle. I'm gonna decorate it with little teeny weeny bells. Good. Maybe Belle will choke on a clapper. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.